Welcome fellow Star Wars collectors to another episode of Beyond the Cardback. I'm Trooper TK314 here with another Star Wars figure review from a galaxy far, far away. And today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Best Buy exclusive IG-11. And he is basically just a copy and repaint of IG-88, but he still looks fantastic and I'm really happy to have him in my collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And since it is a exclusive, he does not have a number. And the back of the box says, IG-11, one of a series of dangerous assassin droids largely outlawed in the galaxy. IG-11 is a hired gun programmed to follow bounty hunter guild protocols to the letter. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. I'm gonna zoom in here where we can get a good close up of him. But he does look fantastic, especially with the gold copper colors on him. Um, that is a big difference between him and IG-88, but he does look fantastic. Um, same wires and everything on his legs, um, same weapons. Uh, the bandoliers are different. Um, the weapons actually have a little bit of a gunmetal paint to them, um, which I'll show you when I get close, do some close-ups of it. Um, the head is a little bit darker with a different brush pattern on it than IG-88. IG-88 looks pretty much more new looking than this one. This one looks more worn and weathered. I'm going to go ahead and bring him closer. We'll start at the bottom. His legs. Work our way up. And as you can see, the body is just fantastic. Still has the red in his eyes, just like on the IG unit, IG-88. But I do like the gold coloring on him. I think that looks nice. There's his blaster rifles. They do have a bit of a gunmetal paint to them. There's the E-11. There's the back of him. And this bandolier does have a holster right there, and it is just for the blaster rifle. You can actually push it down pretty hard. There you go. So he holds that one. It gives him a free hand for you. Articulation is the exact same as IG-88. Um, arms spin around 360, they come out 180. The elbows still only bend at about, not even 90, maybe 30 degrees both sides. But that's okay. It still looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and do a visual comparison between him and IG-88 real quick, if I can get him to stand. He is a little, since his legs are so skinny, he is a little hard to stand. Let's go ahead and bring in IG-88 for a side-to-side -side comparison. As you can see, they both look really good together. Um, IG-88 looks a little bit newer, uh, not as weathered as IG-11, but still looks just as good. Um, the bandoliers We'll compare from the back. His bandolier, of course, he can put in his blaster rifle as well, plus his axe thing that he has. But that's them from the back. They look really good. They actually, I think, made eight in Legends, eight assassin droids from this same company. But you can see IG-11's head is a little bit darker than IG-88. Let's go ahead and do another this side comparison. There we go. But they both look really good together. I could see them teaming up in your imagination and hunting down some bounties together. But yeah, my opinion is that you need to go out to Best Buy, go ahead and pick you up an IG-11. He looks great. They look good together. Um, they're going to look great on the shelf together. Um, if you guys like this video, please jettison me a like and a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit notifications for when I make a new video. 
Um, also follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There will be a link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, um, hope you have a great week. May the Force be with you.